Hey, 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 what's up guys? My name is Mutema, Nairobi based photographer. So today, so guys, today, in today's tutorial, I'll show you how you can just edit a portrait in just less than 10 minutes or 10 minutes or even less. Okay, so let's get into this tutorial. So as you can see, guys, I I removed the blemishes in this photo and um, I want to do frequency separation, color grading, and dodge and burn in just less than 10 minutes. But because I'll be explaining this might take 12 or 13 minutes, but you can do this in just less than 10 minutes. So the, you can see this photo is a 16-bit photo. So what I'm going to do, um, I'll use the 16-bit method to do frequency separation. So... <clears throat> I duplicate the layer twice okay then I rename this high texture then I rename this low texture okay yeah so I'll disable the high texture then I go to filter then blur then Gaussian blur then I'll uh, identify a place in the photo where I think the Texture is a little bit high then I just push this until I see the textures Disappear, but you can still see the details in our photo. So I guess 9 2 9 10 is okay. So Okay, okay. so then I go to image Apply image Then I select the low texture then instead of uh, using subtract I use add Then I'll select two then zero okay uh, the reason i've used add because uh the image is a 16-bit image for the 8-bit image you subtract but what i'll do i'll click invert then you can get your gray figure like you used to getting the normal frequency separation then i say okay so then what i do i'll change this to linear light okay then I'll create a black and white on top of this, okay? So that I can identify the highlights and the shadows. Now let's get into this, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick my mixer brush tool, increase the size, make sure the foreground color is white. Um, make sure you select the clean brush, make sure clean after every stock is selected, custom, wet, okay? 10% load 75% mix 90 and flow 100 then make sure the others are zero assemble or layers is not selected so <clears throat> What I'll, uh, I'll start by brushing these shadows over here Make sure you click the lol texture. I'll start by brushing these shadows over here Yeah, like that and then these shadows over here, sorry about that, these shadows over here, yeah, like that. Then I'll now enlarge my brush, then just mix the forehead like that, and your photo will be fully mixed, okay? Then I'll proceed to the cheekbone. I'll do the, these highlights over here make sure you brush these highlights over here yeah then okay make sure now you brush these shadows over here like that like that make sure you enlarge the brush control brackets to to enlarge and to reduce the size depending on which, which side you want to brush or which area you want to brush I don't want to hide the black and white yet because I guess we're doing great, okay? Hope you're following along and uh, understanding the process here. Yeah, like that. So let me brush this shadow over here. Hope you guys are seeing the way we're brushing and uh, you're following along. This, this should not take so much time. 
when you know the process and how to do it and maybe sometimes you might have so many clients and you have to deliver to all of them with full retouch images these are easier Neither, like you can just do as long as you took the photo these are fully retouched image in just less than yeah so let's continue uh and just retouch the highlights over here like that like these ones here like that yeah, like that so when you take a photo from lightroom to photoshop direct it comes in 16 bit it's, it converts it to 16 bit image so when you edit direct from photoshop from lightroom to photoshop it converts your image to a 16 bit image so if you didn't know that now you know and we have a fully well retouched image frequent separation in just less than six minutes and um yeah i guess the skin tone has really balanced you can identify the highlights now what i'm gonna do uh i'll do the dodge and burn counts so i'll just put all this in a group and just control g you can see the before and after before and after you can see our photo is fully retouched so what i'll do i'll create curves push the highlights up and call this sorry invert this and then call this dodge then create another curves bring down bring down the shadows okay and then call this sorry invert and then call this burn create a black and white again on top of this sorry not that on top of this like this and then uh, reduce the highlights like that then just put the, all this in a group so then put all this in a group yeah so you can see we are doing dodge and burn and we still less than 10 minutes so just pick the reduce the flow to something like one or two then now increase the size of your brush then just let's enlarge this highlight over here like that this highlight over here like that then that one right there this one over here this one over here this highlight over here like that yeah and, uh, this one. so you guys hope you are following along you can see we are almost like we just did you can if you're following along i'm sure you're understanding how you can easily retouch a photo in just less than 10 minutes and you have a very well retouched image and you can now proceed to another to another tutorial and that will be easier for you to to deliver to as many clients as possible within a short time because and to deliver a fully retouched work so just follow along and uh this highlights here like in these shadows over here all of you guys are following along and uh, understanding the process here yeah? hope you're understanding the process this and then if i can just deactivate the black and white we have a fully retouched image right there you can see uh that's just how you can just retouch an image let me just put all this in a group the dodge and burn and the let me show you before and after before before oh okay sorry this is the before this is our image looked before we did frequent separation and dodge and burn and this is how our image looks after we have done dodge and burn and this is how our image looks after we just before dodge and burn and after dodge and burn before dodge and burn and after dodge and burn and that's just how you can retouch a photo in just like in just less than 10 minutes or even 15 
less than 15 minutes or even less than 10 minutes depending on how fast you are and how fast you want to deliver your images you can see skin has some good texture and uh the retouch so so i'll now go cleaning and if you can if you could see i did that frequency separation in less than 10 minutes so guys that's just how you can do frequency separation in just less than 10 minutes and you get this beautiful looking image so yeah thank you guys thank you guys so much for watching my tutorial so <coughs> uh, i'll add some extra skills so this this tutorial might be longer than just 10 minutes but hope you have followed up to where and after up to where we did our frequency separation so what i'll do i'll calculate this image using the uh, beauty retouch academy and uh, this really helps me while for balancing skin tones because i don't have capture one capture one is also very good for balancing skin tone because i don't have capture one i use this beauty i use the magical skin tone in this beauty retouch and uh, it really give me some so you can see what i do i'll come to the extent to windows extension then beauty retouch academy version 3 okay so what i'll do if you can see you just i'll just run the magical skin tone right then you can see it's already inverted so i'll just revert it like this and the the whole image as the skin tone applied on it so what i'll do i'll just pick my brush tool make sure the foreground color is black then increase the reduce the brush to the size of where i want to brush then i'll just remove the skin tone in the eyes like this yeah like that hope you guys are really following along this video will be longer than 10 minutes so the tutorial is out about how to retouch in just less than 10 minutes but because of expl explanation uh, i'm sure it will be longer but you can see the process you can see the difference from where we started if i can just sh i'll show you the before and after and uh so you can see how our image really looks right now it really looks amazing so the next thing i'll do you can see the the filter has applied everywhere but i moved the eyes so i think since the background was brown i think it really looks awesome so what i'll do next i'll just run the magical eyes in the same retouching academy so guys you should download this for your photoshop for this for 2021 for 2020 it really helps me while doing my retouching and I can do these things but i prefer shortcuts because uh sometimes you find i have so much work and i have to deliver with a short time so i prefer using but you have to have the skill before you use your actions so yeah so if you can <coughs> what i'll do I'll, uh, now you can see i run the magic eyes just below the magical skin tone so i'll just select the clean eye whites then Pick my brush, make sure the foreground color is white. Press X if it's not white in your keyboard. Press X and then reduce the flow to something like, let's say, 10, 9, 10. Okay? Then I just increase this. You just brush like this. Brush the edge like this. Yeah. Just, this really helps me to create my portrait. So, yeah i just showing you the how you can use the beauty retouch academy to give you some awesome shortcuts on how you can be creative with your portraits and with your head shots so you can see we are just create cleaned our eyes so if you can see right here we have changed color of your eye eyes or makeup so this is what you're gonna do so just use the flow and then just thin around on this this area thin like this and I like that just paint on the other eye like this like this and boom we have a fully fully retouched image so the next thing I'll do I'll uh, 
I'll go to photo filter. Then I'll select the cooling filter 82, right? Like that. Then what I'll do, I'll just reduce the density to something like 12 is okay or 11. So can you not the new, can you really not the difference from where you started? Let me just put all this in a group and you can see the before, after, before. This is just the before. We even did anything in our photo. And uh, this is the after we have done frequency separation, color, color grading, and even dodge and burn in our image. And trust me, there is a very big difference from you can see this is the before and after. You can see before, after. You can see there is a very, very big difference in our image and how we did frequency separation. Trust me really really popping and i've edited this photo in just less than color grading less than 10 minutes and frequency separation just less than 10 minutes and trust me our photo is really popping so what i'll do next i'll just uh i'll uh what i'll do next uh, Okay, so um, I'll continue with the straightening the background. So I'll just press Control or Command in your keyboard, Alt, Shift, and E, and create a new a merged layer of everything. And now just duplicate this layer once more. Then <clears throat> uh, pick your quick selection, magic selection tool select subject okay i just this select this very roughly okay so after it's selected then create a layer mask of the same then create a new layer an empty layer then go to gradient okay select your gradient like this then also this one select like that then just push you are gradient from left to right or right to left and that way you'll have straightened your background okay or you can do the other way like this and uh, that way you'll have straightened your background so what i'll do i just put all this in a group and just reduce use the opacity and we have a fully retouched image so if i can just put this all this in a group and just show you an up close of the face of the face uh showing before and after let me show you before and after before this is the before and this is the after guys so that's just how to edit a photo in just color grading in less than 10 minutes and frequency separation in less than 10 minutes guys so thank you so much for watching see you in the 